Okay, so um, I got quite a bit going on here today. Welcome back uh, for this video here, this edition in the series. Um, things look quite a bit different if you've been following. Uh, so let's just jump right into it. Obviously, I am printing the, uh, well, I've actually already printed everything, the Z-axis supports. So these are actually not um, mounted they're just kind of placed there just to give the visual have all the washers press fitted in there which was kind of difficult but you do need to press those i figured it would be easier to press fit all those in first <coughs> excuse me um so i got the two tops going on and the kit on thingiverse comes with the back left bracket and then i mirrored it and I got the back right because in the kit you can't use the triangle piece because of the dual Z here. Um, so I just kind of mirrored it. Got one back there. Not sure if it'll actually do anything, but mine as well. Um, TH, excuse me, TM3D, Tiny Machines 3D created this bracket here recently within the last couple days uh, from the time of posting this. So I did. Had, uh, I had this centered and zip tied previously, but then I printed handy dandy little bracket, a couple T-nuts on it, and uh, and so that's mounted nice and pretty like that. Um, really happy about that. What I'm printing right here, right now, yeah, I just, uh, I usually don't print things for just for decorative purposes, but I figured there's so much red going on on this side. And there's nothing really going on on this side except for that guy and that guy and nothing back there. This thing is like a cover that kind of slips over to this right here and just kind of adds a little pop of color right there on that on that side. And I just thought it would be kind of kind of neat. Um, what I'm do what I've done back here is I found on Thingiverse this really really cool dust cover for this for the extruder motor and the reason why I like this one more than the others is because um, not only is it you know, simplistic it's just it's nothing fancy but I like it because it has this really deep channel right here it's a really deep channel and the cables fit in it and they don't fall out all the other ones they had narrow channels and the cables didn't really sit in it very well and then fall out this one I like it because it is nice big big channel and just simple design and I, I enjoy the simple design um, and then speaking of simple design I've created a little uh, bracket right here um, that just secures to the bolt that holds the Z excuse me this um, wheel in place. I believe you have to get like a 45, uh, it's, it's a 5 mil, an M540 or an M545, one of those two. And uh, and then just got your nut in there, it holds it in place and it just acts as like a little stand platform. Sorry if you can't see this too well. A little stand platform to put the easy out uh, filament run out sensor there just the rest on it just so the sensor isn't just dangling anywhere here uh, so I've done that uh, so I really liked oh the other thing the, this thing right here um, I I remixed something on Thingiverse to create uh, uh, it kind of you know I used to have these cables tied with a string up to the the top but I created this little I created this little bracket it is on thingiverse and I'll post some links to everything that I'm showing here uh, and it, it holds the uh, holds the wires nice and neat off of the print so then the wires those cables the Bowden tubes they'll never sag hit the prints and it looks a lot nicer than having some string hanging down here and holding stuff so Really proud of that little simple design. It works. A couple of zip ties. Holds a nice in place. Um, so that is uh, some of the little upgrades. Help clean things up a little bit and uh, 
make things look a little pretty. And the other thing I've designed in Thingiverse is a couple um, trays that could fit down here. So I could put all the tools and everything in there so I don't have like random tools just laying all over the place and a little junky cardboard box. Uh, so just trying to organize, get cleaned up in here, tools set away. Um, those little tray bins that I decided to go down there, they are in Thingiverse. Um, I haven't printed them yet. Just the theory. Um, the size works and everything. Dimensions work. I just haven't, I don't have any anything to show there as far as printing. I gotta get more red filament and uh, so I could have enough material to print those. Because they're not small. Um, um, I have on, on Thingiverse, the guy who designed the uh, Z-axis support here, uh, he does say that on the S5 that the all the threaded rod that connects the two here, uh, it, it's not the best fit. Um, and I've confirmed that uh, it's not the best fit. You can't cinch down um, these ball-like things. These ball-like things kind of sit in here and you cinch them down really tight with the M5 nuts that go inside the ear. And uh, if you really cinch them down tight, the rod doesn't go at a perfect angle to match up with the balls that are going to be up here. So you have to keep one set loose. Either this set just a little bit loose or this set just a little loose so the, all the thread can could, could bend a little bit to pair up with the top part. Um, so I don't think it ultimately I don't think it's gonna be a big deal. Um, you can see the all thread back here. Um, got a big uh, six uh, six footer here. I'm gonna cut in half two three foot pieces. Um, uh, I think the cost so far after if you print the parts yourself for the z-axis support, if you print the parts yourself, I think the hardware, the bolts, screws, T-nuts, I got to order some of those online. I think the it's going to cost somewhere around $40 to $50 for the hardware. So, but if you outsource on like um, 3D hubs or something to have somebody print else print all the brackets for you, well, you're going to add, you know, almost, you're going to double that cost, maybe even more, uh, maybe even triple that cost. Um, so, I guess before, when I, in previous videos from a while back, when I was pricing out how much it would cost to make the Z-axis support, I was factoring in outsourcing the printing. And maybe I shouldn't have done that, get a more realistic price if I was going to be printing them myself. Uh, but, uh, so it's going to be somewhere between $40 $50 to fully get that all installed. Um, so other than that, there's nothing else really to... Uh, discuss here right now other than just these few upgrades I'll try and get links and thingiverse for everything that I've spoken of here so all right that's all for now um, till next time see ya